Hi, I'm Spear with SP Woodart, and let's jump right in. Normally ash wood is light in color. It is a hard, strong, great wood for mallets. My tool handles are mostly ash. I did purchase this unique ash wood slab that's kiln dried and it is rare due to a fungus which is called pink stain or pink staining. And once it's kiln dried, the fungus dies, but it does leave an enhanced grain and color. However, there was some pieces of bark and some areas of damage that I needed to clean up, as well as cutting the slab to size. And with a little help from Total Boat using their Fathom system, I was able to give this slab another life. Total Boat was fantastic in quickly sending me this one and a half gallon kit that came with uh, an applicator, some stir sticks, a bunch of different size buckets. It does come in a three gallon and a six gallon kit as well. This is a two part epoxy two to one mix ratio and it is crystal clear for deep pours. It allows you to have a single pour up to three inches for casting items or up to two inches thick for river tables and slabs. When the surface is cured, it is BPA free for food contact. It has extremely large open time for large projects. The slow cure time is a plus. It has low VOCs, low odor, great for indoor use. And you can use it on stone, metal, wood, and concrete surfaces. You cannot use the pre-calibrated pumps from Total Build's other epoxy systems. You'll need to mix by weight or by volume. I just use the buckets with the pre-calibrated mix ratios on it. Just choose which one you need, the two to one, and you're all set. You can use power mixing. You can use uh, bot paddles, or I like to make my own. Uh, that way when I'm done, I can just throw them out. When you're ready to mix, add the resin and then the hardener. Just a quick couple of notes when you're working with resins. The environment that you're working in is extremely important for clarity and quality of the cure and how the piece will eventually come out to avoid cracks, yellowing, shrinkage, etc. The ideal environment for casting the fathom is below 75. The cooler the better, like 60 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit. For one and a half inch thick and under, you should stay between 70 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit for cure speed. Open work time for the fathom is two to four hours depending on the environment, which is awesome for larger projects. And yes, you can mix colors with the Fathom resin. You can use pigment powders, you can use alcohol inks, etc. It works great. It mixes beautifully. Just mix the resin first, then add the color. I mixed two different colors. I did an imperial black and like a bluish green, kind of a turquoise color, because I wanted to add a color to the black, but still keep it dark and have this kind of deep ocean kind of a look. Ready? Yep. Is it going? Yep. As you can see, the viscosity is very thin. It's very runny, which is great. It will get into all the crevices and holes and cracks. And it may take a few minutes to work itself through all the various areas, especially on this piece uh, where all the bark was in that big, larger crack. And then I'll go back and do another little pour to even it out and make sure it's at the right level. Your time is five to 10 days. The demold time is 48 hours for large pieces and 72 hours for small. Sanding was messy, but that's to be expected. It's coming out nicely. I did level it off with a 36 grit 
and it went fairly quickly with the belt sander. And I did love getting to use my leaf blower on the desk. Yep, looks pretty level at all angles. Even at the lazy perspective. <laughs> I did use the belt sander on all the sides except for the live edges. I used a random orbital sander for the live edges and for the rest of the entire desk up to 400 grit. Also before the last 400 grit sand, I wiped the entire piece down with some 99% rubbing alcohol. I did decide to cut the back side of the desk off and only leave a live edge on the front of the desk. This is so the desk can go up against the wall nicely. It did start to rain, so I ended up having to move inside to finish up some of the sanding. Well, if you watched my previous video, you know I'm a huge fan of the Total Boat Halcyon finish, and that's what I'm going to use here on this wooden resin desk. I'm first going to apply one coat on the whole desk of shellac, and I'll let that dry for about an hour before applying the first coat of my Halcyon finish. Wow, you can really start to see the color and the grain just pop on this desk and the resin. The blue is just kind of peeking through. I still have trouble believing that this is a piece of ash wood, but it is. As for the Halcyon finish, all you need to do to mix it is to gently mold the bag a little and you're good to go. And I'm going to apply three coats of this and you do not need to sand in between. Uh, you don't have to sand at the end either, but I like to. You can apply this finish with a foam brush, regular brush or roller. You can spray it. It is a water-based finish, so you can add up to 20% of water, which is probably ideal for a sprayer. I ended up applying three coats of the Halcyon finish. You can apply up to five in one day. And because this is a water-based varnish, it is also UV protective, which is great. And cleanup is super simple. Just rinse with some water, clean up the bucket, clean up the brush, and you're good to use it again. I like to allow at least a day before sanding the final coat of the Halcyon. And then I like to add a polish. You can use whatever polish you like. I just use my random orbital sander with some buffing pads, different uh, grits. And I have a variable speed sander, so I just turn the speed down and it works great. I also take that extra step and do a, a buff. It doesn't make a huge difference, but I think it's enough. Next, I just repeat this process. Okay. As for the legs, I purchased these K-style legs, they're called uh, on Amazon. You can get different kinds, different styles. They have adjustable legs. They're of pretty good quality, a decent price for a set of two. I liked this look with the desk and I think it's gonna match well with the decor and they were exactly the right size that I needed. The set of legs that I bought also came with all these screws, which was kind of a nice bonus. If you were wondering what I did with the leftover Fathom resin, I cut up some of the leftover slab pieces and casted some bowls and pen blanks, which I'll be turning in upcoming videos. It'll be cool to have some matching desk accessories. Well, I am super impressed with this Total Belt resin. I have tried many of their resins over the years. I've liked all of their products and this one is not letting me down as well. It is really nice for any kind of deep pours you need two to three inches. It's really, really nice. Hard, crystal clear. Can't recommend it enough. 
Also, if you're looking for a new way or a great uh, finish, this Halcyon by Tobo is really nice. I've been using it now for a little while and it is my new favorite finish. Thank you for watching and thank you Total Bolt for sending me this resin. It was really great. I look forward to doing some more projects and upcoming videos. So as always, stay safe in your shop at all times. Take care. Thank you.